What's up guys, it's Fortnite Mule RC. Welcome back to another video. Don't mind the shirt, this is my fancy shirt. I like this shirt, guys. Actually, my wife bought it for me, but this is my fancy shirt. I like it, makes me feel fancy. But anyways, guys, you ever wonder why they tell you uh, not to switch uh, from first to second in your TRX-4 while you're giving it a throttle? Yeah, well, I let a buddy borrow it and we found out what happens. So this video, I'm gonna show you the inside of the transmission of the TRX-4 two-speed and uh, with the shift collar, it's gonna show you the part that shifts it from first to second and what happens if you do it while you're in the full throttle. So check it out guys, let me know what you think. All right guys, doing a little bit of maintenance, cleaning up all of my pieces from the transmission. Yeah, I went through the water, got it all nasty up in there. Look at that, nasty. But it was starting to skip in second gear and I found out why. That's not supposed to be rounded like that. That's supposed to be completely flat. So when this engages into second gear, yeah, it starts to spin and make a tick, 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 tick sound. So that's not good. But anyways, we figured out what it is. There it goes. I have the part on order. I should be here within a couple of days. But while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and clean this up and uh, put it back together. For me, it'll be a few days. For you guys, it'll be in a second. Here we go. All right, let's check it out. So this part is the one I needed right here. And of course, I'll probably save these all the pieces because they're brand new. I only swap out the piece that I need, but let's go ahead and tear this apart. I already cleaned it, swapped out all the bearings, and put it all back together. So all I have to do now is just split it down the middle, put that new piece in there, put it back together, slap it in the truck, and we're good to go. So let's tear it apart, see what we got inside. Now let's see what we got inside. Oh yeah. So we got these bearings. These Jim's bearings, I had already swapped them out previously. I didn't get it on video, but I just did these when I found out how this part was broken. But, super simple, it just slides out. This slides out as well. Let's see. All right. Let's see if we get the focus. See how they're rounded off. Whoops. Let's see if we can get it. Alright, there it is. See how they're rounded off at the end, the tops? These. Yeah, every time it would shift in there it would start to skip and they're supposed to be square like this. So anyways, that was the broken part. We got the new part in finally two weeks later. So let's go ahead, swap it back in and hopefully, you know, that's it. That's all we needed to fix. And it'll shift the first into second again, no more grinding or nothing. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm not the neatest. I don't use scissors and all that stuff. I just stab it, shoot it and go. So, all right, so here's the new one. Let's go ahead and get it in here. Uh, 
that's in. Right, so you see how it shifts? That one just spins, and then when this gets shifted in there, it locks in. See that? So another one rounded off right there. This gear was just slipping over it. Clack, 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 and it was making a ticking sound. But, well, that's my culprit. We fixed it. Should be all good. Let's go ahead and put it back together and see what happens. All right, so it's all back together. New bearings. It's greased. It's spinning great. Got all the new bearings in there. Sealed bearings, of course. So first and second shifts and works pretty good. Woo! Anyways, all right, let's get it back in the truck and see uh, if we did a good job or not. Let's check it out, guys. Alright guys, so it's put back together, it's back in the truck, it's running good, everything's going great. So we need to uh, go ahead and make a video of it on a test drive. We've got the new body on it, new wheels and tires. I think all that's left is just to try it out, see how it rips. But this little uh, practice that we did out here with it, it worked great. But we still have to make a full video on it. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, I have Jim's bearings in that transmission. If you guys need help with those, just comment down below, and I'll try to put a link up there for you guys. But uh, anyways, like I said, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Give me that like, subscribe, thumbs up, and smash that notification bell, guys, to keep you posted every time new videos come up. It really helps out. Oh, and I got some stickers printed out, too, Mule RC stickers. And, uh, well, might get those out to you guys. So stay tuned. But thank you guys all for watching. We'll see you on the next video.